Hello folks, I'm going to tell you guys what has been going on in the in the past for the uh, Cleveland Browns. So let's get to it. In late October, the owners Jimmy and D. Haslam summoned all Cleveland Browns employees to the auditorium at team headquarters for a familiar meeting. It was to announce another major shakeup. This time, the firing of head coach Hugh Jackson. Some longtime staffers suspected it would follow a script of sorts that has emerged over the years. Sure enough, D with straight shoulder length blonde hair and 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 an easy smile explained that she and her husband were still learning and she turned over the floor to Jimmy then with white hair combed neatly and posture so perfect that he looked like he was puffing out his chest so Jimmy once again pledged to hire the right people despite the appearance of confidence the Haslam's overseeing their fifth regime change in six years as owners I mean like they were embarrassed to be starting over again according to confidence this was not what they envisioned when they bought the team in 2012 after being minority owners of the Steelers Haslam had personally made the decision to hire Jackson in 2016 against the recommendation of the Browns executive team but the Browns had just lost to the Steelers, dropping Jackson's three-year record to 3-36-1, which is not good. And after constant fighting behind closed doors, Jackson was publicly wearing with his offensive coordinator, Todd Haley. I heard this story was pretty pretty long on this on this uh, ES, ESPN article. I mean, the Cleveland Browns have not been in the playoffs for about ten plus years. They need to get their acts together and hire some some playoff experienced folks. I mean. I mean, like, they need to get it together so they have to compete against other teams, bro. Cleveland is fed up with this mess. You know, I mean, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm out, man. They got to get it together. Skedaddle.